hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my little wind down routine on this specific night i was coming back from a holiday event so lots of socializing don't get me wrong socializing is really fun and i actually enjoy it but i am more of the type of person that recharges whenever i am home and i'm able to do some self-care basically what i'm trying to say is i'm more of an introvert but there is that part of me that really does enjoy also going out and having fun so on this particular night dad already had the girls down so i was able to come right up and just focus on me and getting myself together for bed and the first thing that I do is I remove my makeup. I do use these wipes because it just allows all the makeup to come out first. And then next I go into tying my hair up and I've been using this rose water, which I made a full video on it. If you guys want to know how to make organic natural rose water. So if you start using rose water, it will definitely help with the softening of your hair and it also helps to reduce dandruff and oiliness. It can also help with scalp issues and to reduce frizz and it adds shine. After I add that rose water to my hair, I use my homemade oil which really just consists of olive oil, lemongrass, and rosemary oil all together and basically this is my nightly routine for my hair that I do just to make sure that my hair is hydrated and taken care of every single night because my hair gets dry super quickly. So doing this routine massaging my scalp adding oils is definitely been a game changer in making sure that my hair stays strong and stays healthy because if you watch a lot of my videos and vlogs you know that i am on a hair growth journey right now so i've been using this super comfortable tension free scrunchie and i got this from sephora so i use this every single night or you can use a satin scrunchie or a silk scrunchie just to reduce the tension while you're sleeping on your hair Now it's time to pick out some jammies, so I just picked something that would be super comfortable and it's time to get into this skincare outside of the shower. So I have been loving this CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. So I use this in the shower and I also use this Ivory Mild and Gentle Body Wash for my body. I've been using this soap for about three years, three or four years, and it's been working perfectly on my skin. It doesn't dry my skin out too much and then I exfoliated tonight. Now it's time for a little turmeric mask and at this point I was honestly ready to go downstairs because I had some yummy teriyaki food waiting for me. Hubby got some food just so that we could have something like a little date night in at the house after I got back and I was I was ready to eat some teriyaki but basically I put on the mask and then I moisturized my lips with this lip balm and then it was time to moisturize my skin with this Nivea um, intense healing body lotion which this lotion is the real deal you guys if you want some glowy soft skin this lotion is where it's at so basically to wash off my mask I just use a rag with warm water not cold just warm water And my face has been loving these mists so today I'm using the chamomile plus white tea mist and obviously my organic rose water so when I got downstairs I was telling my husband to smell my hair because I feel like every time I wear my hair down my hair just picks up so many different smells from the different atmospheres that I'm at and it's just the strangest thing ever but then we proceed to do our nightly back cracking routine and I was actually ecstatic because I think I had like five cracks so this is my teriyaki meal for tonight and I was ready to eat I was really really hungry and yeah it was just time for me to have some dinner to relax we were gonna watch a little bit of our show which we have really been loving just more of like crime solving type shows so we were watching the equalizer and i think we're up to date on that so we don't have any episodes that we need to catch up on now but this was the last episode we needed to catch up on and then this is me casually showing you guys our beautiful children's creations that they made the day before they wanted to really make some gingerbread houses but we make the small ones because the big ones for some reason they just fall apart but yeah so i continue to just eat and then i was telling my husband to come sit next to me because he was taking way too long and i was ready to cuddle up and eat my food with him and yeah i hadn't seen him for almost like five hours so i was definitely missing him so we just squeezed up on the couch and had our dinner 
Now it was time for me to make my nightly tea. I kid you not, ever since I started my muscle building journey about 12 months ago, I have had a tea every single night and I just could never imagine living a life without having tea at night. You just wake up so refreshed and de-bloated and wake up feeling really amazing. Um, but yeah, so I put apple cider in my tea and then I use a stevia leaf extract <laughs> for the sweetener. And then this is just me taking my vitamins and then showing you guys that I started taking a new supplement, which is fenugreek. It's supposed to be really good for your hair. So specifically for hair growth is why I'm taking it. After making my tea, it was time to head on upstairs and get cozy in the bed because I already felt like I was about to fall asleep within like 15 minutes. So I like to head upstairs before I feel like I'm going to fall asleep just so that I don't fall asleep on the couch and be uncomfortable. So we're finishing up the episode and then I typically like to read at least a chapter of the Bible before I go to bed every single night. That about wraps up my nighttime routine and unwinding. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.